Back in 1930, Heinkel began development of a new twin-engine biplane, presented as civilian, but secretly intended for the German Navy. The Heinkel, HE-59, which went into production in 1935, was conceived as a seaplane for attack and reconnaissance, but proved versatile and adaptable in many situations. Although the plane's design was not state-of-the-art, it was prized for its ruggedness and relatively low cost, an important factor to consider as Germany was impoverished in 1931. The plane had a hybrid construction, wooden wings and a metal frame fuselage, covered with canvas. It had two fuel tanks, located in the keels. It soon gained a good reputation for its maneuverability, being very smooth in takeoff, flight and landing. However, the undersize of the two 660 horsepower BMW V12 engines limited its performance. The Heinkel He 59 was equipped with three 7.92 mm MG 15 defensive machine guns. In addition, the compartment in the fuselage had the capacity to carry a variety of loads including four 250 kg bombs, or four naval mines or a 675 kg torpedo. During the early months of World War II, the He-59 demonstrated surprising versatility. In addition to its function as a torpedo bomber, it was employed as a mine layer, reaching ports under the control of the Royal Navy and dropping war charges at their mouths. It was also used as a reconnaissance aircraft, while between 1942 and 1943 it played the role of a transport aircraft for logistical support to German ships, as it was able to transport supplies and personnel between ships and land. But what made him famous was the crucial role he played in search and rescue operations at sea, spotting and recovering downed crews, shipwrecked people and pilots in distress. The Heinkel, HG 59 inches remains a piece of aviation and maritime warfare history during World War II. It highlighted the crucial importance of rescue and logistical support aircraft in naval operations.